hope you are well and having a beautiful start to your day. I am all dressed and ready for the day. I'm about to pop out of the door and run a few errands. We've got to go to a plant shop, a little nursery, also a couple other little shops. I have to pick up some birthday gifts and cards, so I'm gonna do that and grocery shop at Trader Joe's. So that's the plan for the morning. I actually haven't even made coffee yet this morning, so I'm gonna pick up some coffee from a local coffee shop, which is always such a treat when you're running errands. So looking forward to that. I also wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I love my Squarespace website, so I'll share more about them later, but they just help you build a beautiful online presence. So. Again, more to come on that later, but it's gonna be a good day and I'm excited to spend it with you all. This is today's outfit. It's very blue, but seriously, this is one of my favorite outfit combinations. I love to pair just like a simple blazer with some high-waisted jeans. I just think it's really so effortless, but you look so put together. So this blazer is from Express. My jeans are from Express. This little tank is from Revolve, but I'll try to link everything similar if stuff isn't available anymore. Okay, I got my coffee. I walked around the most precious nursery with the best name. Its name is Palmer's, so it's just the best. I feel like walking through a nursery or garden center or an actual garden is just such a pleasant, peaceful way to kind of have a little moment of rest and quietness, especially while sipping coffee. It was just very, very fabulous. So thankful for that time. And it's still pretty early in the day. It's just 10 o'clock now and I'm usually home at this time. So it's kind of nice to be out and about in the morning because usually I'm kind of more out and about out and about running errands in the afternoon but I love the mornings because they're much more calm and quiet and every place I'm going to is just really just calm and peaceful so it's been lovely and I just parked at the heavy and I'm picking up my monthly plant subscription so that'll be fun to see what plant of the month it is and I'm also going to look around for planters because I'm looking for a planter for the faux olive tree we have in our master bedroom as well as I would love to put some kind of plant and planter situation next to the right side or the left side of our media console so it's kind of what I'm looking for but we'll see I may need to kind of think about the planters a little bit more also I picked up some uh, whole bean roasted coffee from Lineage and I'm really excited. It's super tasty and it's always so fun to get kind of the locally roasted coffee beans because they just taste so much more fresher and it's great to support the local coffee shops. So cheers to that. my Trader Joe's stuff now and do a little Trader Joe's overview of everything I picked up but I actually picked up some lunch as well I went to this place called Tin and Taco which I've never been to before but I heard really good things so I wanted to try it out and so two of the tacos are for Brandon but I got one taco for myself and it is a veggie look how fun these look wow so colorful I think the veggie one is in the middle so I'm excited to try it and Brandon's gonna be really excited to try it later too once he gets home. He's at work all day today. But yeah, so that was fun. And then I got some really cute things from this boutique called Miscellaneous Market and I got my 
uh, plant of the month, which is a monstera. So that's amazing. And it has some new growth. We'll have to find a place to put it, but I'm just gonna enjoy some lunch, start munching on this and unloading all the groceries. Palmer's eating his lunch like a cute little angel. And here is the Trader Joe's haul overview. So here's like all our fresh produce, got some eggs, arugula, best cheese ever, cheddar cheese. And then I got some frozen food just to have for quick dinners. I really like the riced cauliflower stir fry. And then I got some spinach tortellini with some of this vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. I've never had this one, but I'm excited to try it and pair these two together. Just again, a quick, easy dinner. And then bananas, which got really beat up in my bag. So <laughs> that's kind of a bummer, but it'll be fine. Some Persian cucumbers, blackberries, strawberries. Look at these golden berries. I think I've had these before, but I kind of forget what they look like. So I'm gonna try a few after I do this little haul. Uh, some Myers lemons, green bell peppers, lentil soup, ancient grains, best soup. Oh, so good and filling and hearty. Some organic rainbow carrots, celery, plain yogurt. Oh, these draft lattes are delish. So got a couple of those for B and I. Some honey crisp apples, avocados, pita chips, tortilla chips. We really like the quinoa and black bean ones. Some oranges, pineapples habanero hot sauce this stuff is super super spicy which we love and then i also got this organic pure bourbon vanilla extract because i just needed some more vanilla extract for baking and it's so funny because they actually had to check my id for this because i guess it has like um traces of alcohol so yeah it's very interesting it says bourbon vanilla gets its name from an island once called El Isle Bourbon. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And refers to vanilla planifolia. Planifolia. The source of the beans used in this extract. So it's kind of funky. And then I got some tortillas just to do some quick, easy wraps for lunch. So I'm gonna make some kind of lentil quinoa mixture so we can have some veggie wraps throughout the week and some bread, some pistachios. We've been loving to snack on some pistachios. And then I got a bunch of little desserts because it's one of my really good friends, uh, baby showers this weekend. So I'm helping with everything and I'm gonna just add these desserts to the dessert bar and we'll have a cake and everything. But I just got some vanilla meringues, some the dark chocolate peanut butter cups, some half moon cookies, and then these dark chocolate honey mints. I just really liked them because of the blue wrapper because she's having a baby boy. And these pretzel slims are really good as well. And I got a bunch of flowers and eucalyptus because we're gonna use that on the dessert table just to kind of, you know, add a little flower flair. Seriously, so beautiful. I also put a couple in our powder bathroom. Let's try a golden berry. They're seriously so cute. They look like yellow grape tomatoes. I don't remember what they taste like. I know I've had them before, but not in a really long time. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. At first I was like, ooh, yum. But then it's like an interesting, it almost tastes like a, a tomato to me. So it's not super, super sweet. Okay, they're good. They're good, but not like amazing, amazing, amazing. I probably wouldn't buy them again, but a fun little treat and it probably has some good nutrients. Okay, here's my beautiful Monstera plant. It's so nice. It has some new growth coming through. So I always like to pick out a plant where I see new leaves growing because that's just a sign that it's nice and healthy. And then from miscellaneous, I picked up this super cute notepad. I definitely have enough notepads, but I just love stationery and paper goods so much. So I thought I loved the color palette as well and the structure. I feel like it'll actually be super helpful. So picked that up and then a bunch of cards because I always just like to have cards on deck. I got this little happy birthday one. 
super cute this i lava you a lot one because this could be used like for multiple occasions so i thought that was good and then this you're going places one is just so dreamy and colorful i just loved it and i think i'm gonna send that to my friend leslie and then this one is a happy birthday one which i just always like to have a birthday card so picked those up and then I picked up this little berry dish that is just adorable and I'm gonna gift this to my friend Alyssa whose birthday is this weekend. And then this fresh squeezed candle, I'm either gonna gift her this candle or a different candle, but I smelled this in the store and it just smelled so unreal and I love that it's soy, so that's fabulous. And then Callie's Hot Little Biscuit Mix. I was so excited they had this because Brandon and I love Callie's Hot Little Biscuit. We went to their location in Charleston a few times and it's so good. So I'm really interested to try this and see if, you know, it reminds me of our time in Charleston. And then lastly, I picked up these absolutely precious, precious, precious tea party earrings. How amazing. And this is a small business in Central Florida. My friend's baby shower this weekend, we're doing kind of a subtle tea party theme. So it's not gonna be like super, super tea party, but we'll have like little tea party touches and we're gonna play like classical violin music and it'll be just such a vibe. But I thought this was gonna be perfect to wear in my earrings, or my ears <laughs> for the party. And the, the dress I ordered, it's actually supposed to arrive today, I believe. And I ordered it from Reformation. And it's my first dress I ordered from Reformation. And I really hope it fits okay. And I love it because I just, when I was browsing Reformation's site, I was just falling in love with the brand. And I'm really excited to hopefully like continue to shop there if everything works out with this dress because it definitely is more pricey, but it's more sustainable. So it's a sustainable clothing brand, which I'm definitely trying to kind of pay more attention to and try to support, you know, sustainable brands and local brands as well. But um, I always do want to have, you know, more affordable options as well because this dress is like almost $300. Like it's expensive expensive um and i know like that's just not always attainable so i always want to have both because like personally i'd love to be able to shop more sustainable but also you have to be kind of wise with your money and that's where like thrift shopping is so amazing because you can often find like higher end higher quality clothing you know from thrift shops but i'll always try to share like the more affordable options as well but i'm definitely excited to see if this dress fits okay and it's just like one of those pieces of clothing that I saw online and I was like, wow, dream dress, which I wonder if you guys, it's kind of more of a subtle dress. I'll put, I'll put a picture of it right here because it's nothing like extravagant, but it's just kind of like a classic timeless piece. And that green color will look really nice with like the little green touches on these earrings. Okay. I'm going to try on the earring. I might need to take my second uh, hoop out because I have a, I have two holes in my ear and the little hoop might get in the way. Oh my goodness, so cute. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, the dress I was talking about just came in the mail, so we'll go try it on soon. It's linen, so it's a linen green dress. They have very minimal packaging. Even this plastic bag is made out of 100% recycled plastic, so they go all out. Okay, here is the dress. So pretty, it needs to be ironed though. We'll see, hopefully it fits okay. Always gotta make a mess. I made myself some iced coffee with my leftover morning coffee. Super easy iced coffee time. I just poured it over ice. And now I'm just sitting at my desk getting some work done. For the past few days, I've actually been spending a lot more time at my desk. Usually I will do a lot of work in our little dining table or on the couch or at the bar. That's typically kind of my rotation. And then sometimes I'll go on my desk, but I've been really feeling the space in the summer months, um, we I've noticed we definitely get more daylight or sunlight in this front room. So I think I'm just drawn to wherever it's the sunniest <laughs> when I work. So 
that's what I've been doing and I'm still kind of figuring out this space so that's kind of something I want to work on later today is just kind of brainstorming and putting together some kind of mood board for this room because I definitely want to keep my desk in here and keep it as an office but I would love to add like additional seating and maybe a couple cozy chairs or a little window bench or something because it definitely has more room I don't want it to be too cluttered by any means but I definitely could fit a bit more or I could do a little reading chair in that corner. I'm not sure. I definitely want to play around with it a bit more. So we may work on that later, but I'm just kind of looking through some computer stuff and working on updating my website, which brings me to today's sponsor, Squarespace. And I'm just so thankful to be working with them because I love Squarespace. I actually created my personal website when I was in college and it was just like, a really exciting and empowering thing for me to do because it was really kind of me starting my business and my brand and just creating a space online where I can really share my life, my work, and my thoughts. So I really love how Squarespace kind of empowered me to do that. And if you're unfamiliar with it, it's an all-in-one platform to help you build a beautiful online presence. And they really have created a user-friendly platform to help you create a space where you can beautifully and visually share your life and your business as well. So you can display posts from your social profiles on your website and you can automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers and audience can see and share it, which is just a really amazing feature to make your life kind of easier and more convenient and make everything more streamlined. And then they have tons of other amazing features and analytic options. So if you would like to check it out, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, you can go to squarespace.com slash Allison Bickerstaff to save 10% off on your first purchase of a website or a domain. So it's a really awesome offer and I'm confident you guys love Squarespace as much as I do. So I'm just going to spend some more time on my computer, get some tasks done. And then I think I'm going to actually change into some workout clothes because later this evening, B and I are going to go play pickleball with a few of our friends. And I also, before that, I want to take down all of our Easter decor. Kind of sad. I'll still keep the spring stuff out, but like the bunnies and the eggs, like I'm ready. Once Easter's got, once Easter's over, I'm kind of ready to put that away for next year. So that's the plan for the rest of the day. Waking up in my bed. My mom got me this hydrangea for Easter and it is so cute. I love it. I actually put it on our back porch um, the day after she gave it to me and it was really sad because I thought it needed more sunlight so that's why I put it back there and it wilted so badly because it just was, you know, a little too much sunlight but thankfully I was able to revitalize it with a lot of water. These things are thirsty, so if you get a hydrangea, make sure you just water it pretty adamantly because that'll keep the blooms nice and healthy and not wilted. Okay, here is the dress. I love it. I definitely wanna wear it with some heels or just little slide on little heels, you know, but it is so beautiful. I love the fabric and the sleeves are just so fun, great quality. So very, very happy with this. I just need to steam it. So I'll probably do that now so it's all ready to go. pours into our guest bedroom at this time it's so so dreamy the little shadows on the pillows with this little um light filtering bind i just want to take a little nap here i'm so excited to actually um kind of make this space much more exciting there will be a whole video about it where we install the wallpaper and kind of you know add some little touches so exciting stuff this is my friend's baby shower gift so i want to Finished wrapping that, and I'm actually going to bring this blue velvet chair that we have in Brandon's office right now. We had it in the little corner of our apartment, and I am going to see if it looks good in my office, in that little corner where the arch shelf currently is. So we'll play around with it. Okay, 
so the shelf just looked so silly in that corner so I moved it back the chair looked good there but you know I'd rather have the shelf there for now I don't know if I'll keep it in this space but for now it's just like the best situation but part of me wants to try to put the fireplace and the mirror against that wall between the two windows and then my desk against this wall but I don't know if that'll make sense I don't know if someone help me I may need to hire an interior designer for real what if the world had more of your smile what if the wind I took down the Easter decor, but our shelves are still very spring and bright and happy. And Brandon just got home. He's gonna try the tacos. The yummy tacos I got earlier today. What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Hello, friends. It is the next day we were actually out pretty late playing pickleball it was really fun and just a nice time to get outside and brandon always lives his absolute best life when he was when he's playing some kind of sport so he loves playing pickleball and basketball those are his favorites so that was fun and this morning it's already around 2 p.m right now and this morning i've just been kind of zoned in on my computer editing and just working on some other things i also was able to facetime my friend around lunchtime while i was eating lunch so that was really nice and we actually got some window treatments installed this morning finally and these window treatments are actually upstairs in two of our bedrooms so i'll show you we ended up going with the Oh goodness, I'm having a, oh, I'm drawing a blank. Um, the, what are the window treatments called again? Roller shades, roller shades, yeah. So our bedroom is so dark, we just have them all down right now. Um, but they're just like these linen colored roller shades. And we did the blackout for these three windows just because, I don't know, I wasn't sure. Like he said you could do blackout, 1%, 2%, 3%, I think that's what it was. But I thought for these three windows, it'd be good to just have complete blackout in case we ever want to just have it really dark in here. I don't know. I Again, I wasn't sure. So I just went with that. And then we have our curtains as well. Um, but it's really nice. I love how simple they are. And I, the reason why I wanted to go with roller shades is because I love how when you roll them up, it's completely, it shows the complete window still, if that makes sense. I'll show you guys. So it's like our full window with no covering whatsoever. So I like that because I just love having the windows completely open. And that's why I was so hesitant with window treatments because I just hate to cover up the window at all. So these were the perfect option and I'm glad we have these now because we've had our curtains but they do not cover it completely. So there's no one that lives behind us but still like made me a little uncomfy but now we don't have to worry about you know anyone taking a little peek so that's good um but that was nice to get that installed finally and yeah so that's kind of what my morning's been looking like and i'm about to make some iced coffee for us now which is always <laughs> did you hear brandon he said woo so that's always a treat and i'm gonna finish editing my video for monday so that's on the agenda and i'm waiting for amazon packages because i ordered for my friend's baby shower this weekend, I'm working on the favors and I mentioned we're doing a tea party theme. And so I ordered a bunch of tea, little tea bags and these little pouches. And I'm going to, I'm gonna use my Cricut to write something on the pouch, which I've been trying to brainstorm like some kind of tea pun, like thanks for coming to our party or you are a quality friend. I don't know, something cheesy like that um that i'm gonna put on the pouch and then like i'll put a little ribbon or a little string and probably a little wildflower as well to make it all cute and my mom's actually gonna come over tomorrow to help me um because i don't know i mean maybe i'll be able to finish today but she wants to come over anyways to work on cricket projects we're like such little crafty it's like our favorite thing to do together so yeah, that'll be nice, but let's go make some nice coffee. Enough chit chat. 
You're joined to the one who lost the hope. Oh, you got half open. Cool. You got some window treatments in here too. You're fancy. <laughs> this is going to be a really good iced coffee because it's La Colombe. Oh. Triple shot espresso with a splash of cold brew. Only the fanciest for my love. That's good. So good. How good. Okay, my tea in the little bags and tags arrived from Amazon, so I'm gonna start working on the baby shower favors. And this is kind of my vision. So I have little tags and I wrote, Baby Holden is brewing. And then on the back, I wrote, thanks for coming to the party. Love a good pun. So I'll tie that to the little pouch. And I'm gonna put two little bags of tea in each pouch and they fit really nicely. So that's fabulous. And I'm also gonna tie on a little wildflower cause I just think that's a really pretty touch. And then I'm gonna print out these little teacups with my Cricut and iron them on to the bags. So we'll see, this is a little extra, but I think it'll just add a nice touch. So hoping it works out okay, but it is kind of intricate. So I don't know, we'll play around with it. But even if I don't add this element, I, I still feel like it's super cute. With you and flowers everywhere mm -hmm. Maybe there is a star with your name One thing I know is that there should be There is no one who has a heart as pure No, not like yours Okay friends, here how the little tea bags are turning out. I think they are so precious and it's actually, it was a lot quicker than I anticipated. I thought it would kind of take a while because you have to like weed through the cutout and this has like a bunch of little leaves and stuff, but it actually was really easy and I kind of breezed through it. So I'm gonna print out some more later and then stuff the bags and write more little tags and then put them all together. But I'm gonna take a little dinner break and cook us some yummy food. So this is the dinner situation. I'm just gonna cook this tortellini and this pesto that I picked up yesterday and I'll serve it with a side of arugula. So this is ready in minutes and then this I'm assuming I just need to kind of warm up. So super, super simple, which I definitely appreciate. While I was working on the little tea bag DIY, I was thinking that if I didn't do YouTube, I would definitely wanna open some kind of like small Etsy shop and do crafts. I think that'd be really fun and fulfilling. I mean, I'm so thankful to do YouTube. That's definitely like my number one dream, but I think that would be fun as well. Okay, I added in the goat cheese, but I'm gonna try a tortellini with just the pesto without the goat cheese so we can give it like a fair taste test because I made it not vegan by adding the goat cheese but it smells and looks amazing so I have high hopes mm, beautiful how is that kale it tastes so good I would definitely recommend and it definitely feels healthier because it's kale pesto so love it Your smile 
What if the wind could spread your love? Dinner was yummy, and I just changed into kind of more of a athletic look because it's pretty warm outside, and we're about to go on a family walk, a post-workday family walk. It's my favorite. So I'm gonna pour some kombucha, get Palmer's harness on, and we'll be on our way. outside of my office window and it's so beautiful. good progress on the little favor bags for the movie shower but I'm getting sleepy and I'm a little chilly too so I thought instead of a shower tonight well I'll probably still take a shower but I want to take a bath it's been far too long since I took a bath so I'm gonna fix up a nice cozy warming bubble bath and I'm actually gonna read in the bath for a little bit. I'm reading a really good book right now. It's called The Good Sister by Sally Hepworth. And it's like one of those books that just hooks you in and it's a bit suspenseful. And I really just like her tone of voice and storytelling. So I've been really enjoying it and I haven't really read too much this week. So I think that's a good way to kind of cap off the day. <laughs> was so fabulous and now I'm nice and cozy in bed ready for some sleep I'm still gonna read a little bit more while Brandon's getting ready for bed but thank you guys so much for spending time with me and watching this video I'm so thankful for you guys and hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you soon Bye.